All right, 18E. A little bit more going on with this problem. Uh, so what I want to do first is, I'm making sure I got some room here. I'm going to move that 24 over to the other side of the equation. And so this is what I get. So y is less than 3x squared plus 14x plus 24. And so what I'm going to do here is try to find uh, the, I'm going to factor this thing to find the x-intercepts. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a quick little guess and check on this one because the 3 there tells me that the, the leading coefficient in that binomial has got to be 3. Over here will just be x. And then I'm looking for factors of 24. Okay, that when I put them out here using that 3, I'm going to add them together to, and I'm going to get the 14 out of that. So I'm just going to think here, I don't know, factors of 24, let's say 4 and 6. Well, if I make this 6 and this 4, and I'm just, honestly, I'm just checking here, and I think here, what's 3 times 6 is 18 and 4. Well, if I go 18 minus 4, I will get 14. But... That means the 6 would have to be negative, and actually, you know what? <laughs> it's, it's funny that that should happen because, uh, and I didn't mean to do this, but when you bring that 24 over, it should have been negative. <laughs> Sorry, it should have been negative. Uh, I was just thinking there how my guess just totally won't work. In this case, I'll try something else. But in this case, actually, the guess was supposed to work. That should have been positive and negative here. So my two x-intercepts are going to be positive four-thirds and negative six. So uh, on the graph, kind of relatively speaking, that four-thirds is going to be close. The negative six is going to be back here. Uh, if you take a look at the inequality, it says less than, it's not or equal to. Okay, uh, so it's going to be a dotted line and it's going to be a parabola that opens up. So it's going to look something like that. I don't exactly know how far down. Uh, I'm not going to find the, the vertex, although I could just by completing the square. But um, that's, that's putting a lot of effort into this problem where all we want is a, a rough sketch of this. If I look at the y-axis here, pick my, my y-intercept, I notice from my graph, if I let the x-coordinate go to 0, that the relationship becomes y is less than negative 24, which means whatever that y-intercept is, I should be shading below it, less than that. And if I'm below it here, I'm going to be below it everywhere else. And so that's what the region looks like. Okay, uh, It's a dotted parabola, and I shade the region below it.